okay now in this tutorial what we are going to see is that how to read data right in the earlier tutorial we have seen how to write the data in the earlier tutorial we have seen how to write the data using the content values right content value is nothing but the column to the value mapping column to the value mapping and you just have fired on the database db dot insert okay in this tutorial how we are going to read from the database how we are going to fire select star from the table we'll see this query how we are going to fire okay now see you need to get the sqlite db object for the read mode you want to read the data that's why sqlite database you can say db is equals to helper that we have already initialized say get readable databases and you can say db dot close in between these two lines let me write the code in between these two lines okay now let's get the cursor 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 is equals to so what is a cursor now cursor is if you have work with the JDBC right if you have work with the JDBC there is something called as result set logical mapping of the physical database so it is going to pull something from the database and it is going to insert in one structure that is nothing but the cursor if you say select two columns so cursor would be containing two columns but your database would be having actually more columns right okay so cursor can be anything it, it it can be full query it can be selected data or whatever it can be right so it is nothing but what the cursor so we are going to get object of this interface see cursor is equals to db dot query first thing let me show you which method we are going to use we would be using this method this see the to the query method you are having these many parameters to the query method so we'll reveal one by one so that you'll come to know what we are doing exactly table fine then column fine how many columns you want to select okay what columns you want to select means where clause by which values you want to select group by right having like query and the order by these things now these parameters you must pass to the query method table then columns then selection then selection args then group by then having and then order by so this would be your some values now just go on changing the data your table name would be the what my table if you think that if you think that you are going to select all the columns what I'm saying if you think that you are going to select all the columns make it null over here fine where clause also presently null select arguments presently null group by also null having is also null and order by is also null see you have made query in this fashion means this is your select star from my table query right okay but here you haven't written the query but you have written some method db dot query okay while cursor means until and unless this cursor would be having rows it should go on <coughs> returning that row value so cursor dot move to next you can say string name or my name more precisely is equals to cursor dot get string at the zeroth column fine then string or say int it is an integer my age is equals to cursor dot get int say first column so you are knowing see presently you have only two columns right presently you have only two columns that's why you can tell me zeroth column is the name and first column is the age 
but what if you would be having 50 columns in that case remembering by the index would be a little bit difficult and that's why cursor class has given you one facility you can give me the column name I will give you the column index see how cursor dot get column index is the method and pass the cursor name say my age so this method would be returning you what column index so this is also possible and this is also possible now let me log it log dot i <coughs> at code cool and here you can say name plus my name plus age plus my age so this is your simple select star from query right this is your nothing but what select star from query let me run the code and see what happens so let me run the code and see what happens so it's running now what we are going to do we are going to insert and then we are going to try to display so you would be getting the output over here so in this log cat you would be getting the output now see my name say Java age say 20 years fine then you can say insert you are inserting then you can tap on the display can you see I, I pressed two times that's why I'm getting this result Android age is 10 Java age is 20 like this is that fine so you created <coughs> one select query select star from so in the next tutorial what we are going to see how to provide these null values and how to get some proper result where clause how we are going to manage that thing we'll see in the next tutorial so if you like our videos if you're liking our videos please subscribe us fine